Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a budget planner setup as well as creating a budget for the month of November. I went to Michael's and purchased the Recollections A5 uh, budget planner. I did also buy this uh, six ring folio that comes separately where the budget planner fits right into it. So it has I bought the rose gold one and it has like a, um, a pleather finish. It's not um, super shiny, but it's kind of like frosted. It's really pretty. And then um, if you open it up, you can take a look and see that there are some plastic dividers. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, take the packaging off of it. And then I'll show you guys what actually comes inside the folio before I go ahead and show you what I bought as extras. So like I said, it has these plastic um, dividers. They're really good quality. And then once you flip them over, there's, there's actually, I think, three in there. Once you flip it over, it comes with a little bit of paper in there. There is some to-do list. It is numbered. You could use it for um, the days of the week if you wanted to. There's some grid paper as well as dates for each month on the back. Most likely, I'm not going to be using that. So now here is the actual Recollections A5 budget planner. When you first open it up, it's a cute little saying, obviously. So it's a really basic planner. The first page is going to be uh, your expenses, where you're able to put the due date, the projected amount, as well as the actual amount. And then on the second page, there are some spaces where you can put how much you want to save, your goals for saving, and then at the end of the month you can put your final balance, um, how much you were out, how much you have left, and then uh, once you flip the page over, this is where you can track all of your expenses. I am so bad at this, so this will really come in handy, and um, I'll just have to remember to, to make sure that I put this in every month. And then there's some more, um, like, uh, extra pages where you can put ways to save money. I'm not sure if I'll actually use these pages here because really my objective is to create a budget, but we'll see as time goes. The funny thing is there's actually only the ability to save for 10 months in this planner, which is fine. It's really not a big deal. I'm starting in November, so I would have had to purchase a new one at some point the middle of the year anyways next year and then I also um, purchased some extra notes pages to be able to just go ahead and write down all of my expenses for the month that I know are guaranteed and then once I have it all written out and the numbers of what I think they're going to be or know that they're going to be then I will actually transfer transfer them over to the monthly expense page this I'm hoping will um, keep me a little more organized and because the expense tracker, not expense tracker, but the monthly expense page is a little bit different to how my life is, um, I'm going to want to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the notes pages into the third tab of the folio and then we can go ahead and get started on the November budget. Like I said, this is going to be my first time using an actual budget planner. So it did take me a little while to sort of figure out how I wanted to um, write things down um, and exactly what my expenses were. And to be honest, unless you're actually paying attention, you don't know how much money is going out of your account. I was blown away. And so now I'm ready to just take control of my finances, get my family out of debt and Let's get started.
So now that I've listed out all of the expenses that are absolutely coming out of my bank account every month, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them over to the budget planner, write down the amounts of what is expected and what is going to be the actual. I'm not gonna write down the actual right now until it happens or until I make that physical payment. You'll see now that I'm gonna go in with some white out, I'm gonna remove the items that um, don't pertain to my expenses, but also I wanna add some more things that just are not listed on here, like more than one credit card. I did um, white out like emergency fund and savings, but I will add those back in at the end of the month when I know for sure how much cash I actually have left over. When I got to the point in the monthly budget where it asks for groceries, I was a little unsure about how I was gonna deal with this because to be honest, I was never keeping track of how much money we were spending every month. Um, and now that we have two toddlers, um, I really don't know how much we're gonna need to be spending. So I started by writing down the two amounts that I have already spent this month, which was approximately $175. From there, I decided that a total of $400 this month is definitely gonna have to be able to work within the amount of cash that we have. Now I'm at the part in the budget where I have to write down all of our debt. This includes four credit cards, a line of credit, and a business line of credit. It is a lot and that is why I had to start this budget because we absolutely cannot keep going like this. And so by being able to write it out, it makes it more of a reality and I can actually see what we're doing, how we're spending our money and be able to tackle this. I wasn't able to sit down before the beginning of November and create this budget, so we do have some spending that already happened that did not really fall into alignment with how we need to do things going forward. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write down all of the expenses so that nothing gets missed at the end of the month and we don't have some money that is unaccounted for. Once I'm finished writing down all the spending that has already happened this month, I'm gonna flip back to the budget page and I'm gonna add up all of our income between the two of us for the month of November. My husband has his full-time job. I also have um, some income that I withdraw from my own business. Unfortunately, you'll be able to see that we have a deficit. So that means this month that I'm going to have to find a way to make some more money. That's either gonna to have to be to increase the sales in my store or lower the payroll cost, which means that I have to work more. So we'll see how it goes. I look forward to doing these videos every month and taking you all along on our debt repayment journey. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.